this fragrance has been all the talk, all the hype. Is it worth the hype? Was it worth the wait? Mm. And speaking of wedding days, we done broke Beyonce's internet trying to get down here to this wedding silk sand toll, okay? And meanwhile, ain't none of us even got a ring. No shade, no tea. Okay, but we gonna have a ring soon. We gonna have a ring soon. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Chanel and this is the Mixed Edition. So guys, just like my channel name implies, we do a mixture of videos over here. We cover all things fragrance, which is my favorite topic to talk about. And then we cover a bit of beauty, a bit of lifestyle, a bit of tech. So if that is your vibe, don't forget to subscribe and join the mix. So guys, I have a Huda Beauty haul for you guys today. We're going to talk about these viral products that has been hitting these internet streets and making the girls go crazy. Okay, let's get into it. Guys, we all know that we were highly anticipating the redrop of the wedding Silk Santal. And now we broke Beyonce's internet trying to get <laughs> trying to get our own full bottle of miss a wedding silk santal no we did not okay is it really was it is it really that good is it really that good let me share my thoughts with you and we gonna decide y'all let me know drop down in the comments let me know your thoughts but here are my thoughts okay now a couple of months ago Probably like six months. Probably like six months ago, I got me a sample of the six of the silk santal. It was a very like it's like a two mil sample. Like their samples come. So um, this is not my first time experiencing or um, smelling uh, this fragrance. I knew I wanted it, a full bottle of it. This is more like wedding ish versus wedding. Day. I think Mona wore this on her wedding day. I'm not 100% sure, but if she did, she smelled good. And I'm sure she had the most rawest form of ingredients of this formulation. Let's get into the notes. We have sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugared musk. And I must say, that you can smell all of these ingredients, okay? Everything from the champagne all the way down to the sugar must. Um, does it have like some of that same kind of vanilla 28 Kali DNA? Absolutely it does, but you get that light and airiness from the freesia. You get the sparkliness from the champagne, which adds a little oomph to it. Um, the nectarine kind of gives it a bit of a juicy but sugary vibe mixed with the praline. This fragrance smells good. Okay, guys, let me take this out of the box. This is a really solid release. This is a solid fragrance. It is a crowd pleaser. Everybody seems to love it. But is it wedding day? I don't think it's wedding day. Like, I'm sure Mona, she shut it down on her wedding day. She probably had the rawest formation of this fragrance. Okay, so hers is probably a little bit more potent, a little bit more champagne, okay? But what they have in here, this not even going to last you trying to, you know, right after the vows, you're going to have to re-up, okay? This is a light moderate sillage um i got about three hours of like good whiffs and wafts and then after three hours it was kind of you know developing into more closer to the skin but three four hours that's 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 okay i can i could do that but i'm thinking and picturing on my wedding day let me just say my wedding day and speaking of wedding days we done broke Beyonce's internet trying to get down here to this wedding silk santal, okay? And meanwhile, ain't none of us even got a ring. Okay. 
No shade, no tea. Because that's, I'm in the same boat. Okay, but we're going to have a ring soon. We're going to have a ring soon. But anyways, back to the fragrance, guys. I wouldn't say that this would be for my wedding day. I think on my wedding day, I want to knock people out as I am walking down the aisle, okay? This sits a little bit more closer to the skin. It's not a very in-your-face loud projection. It's probably like in your bubble, but, you know, other people, they can like smell you as they enter into your bubble. This is not a enter in the room before I enter in the room. This is not that. But I can see this for like bridal shopping. Like you get in your bridal shower gown and your friends and family are around watching you try on dresses and everybody's drinking champagne. I think this will be perfect for that. Or a bridal shower where, you know, everybody's just coming to kind of celebrate you into wifehood or maybe even honeymoon. This might be like the first night, okay? We didn't have a long day, but I'm going to still do my wifely do. <laughs> and I'm in a white or a pink tutu, and we popping champagne celebrating. This is more that. This is not wedding gown. Wedding gown. I'm looking at the love of my life for the rest of my life. This will probably not make as big of a statement as I would like, but um, is this worth the hype? I would say yes and no. And I'm gonna lean more on the yes than the no. If you was looking for this for your wedding day, no. <laughs> if you looking for a solid crowd pleasing um kind of signature fragrance and something that is easily pairable with other fragrances then yes you know this is signature worthy for sure in my opinion i think the praline is pretty much the star i mean as it develops on the skin you pretty much will smell all the notes but that praline it really like makes this hard to not like okay it's just a sweet kind of girly fragrance and then you add that champagne to get a little bit of booziness a little bit more sophistication with the freesia as well so is it a solid fragrance is it a solid release from the house of kaoli yes it is it's mass appealing so with all of those good characters yeah it's worth the hype but i'm glad that i finally have a full bottle in my collection they are so wrong for only coming up with 50 mils. They might as well just did 100 mil, okay? I had to go ahead and get me a backup. One, because I don't know when it may come out again, when it's when it's planned on, you know, disappearing from the market again. I don't know. So just to be safe, I bought two. But I could see me wearing this every day for real. I can make this my signature scent, really. It's, it's that, it's, it falls in line with that for sure. All right, next, guys, I want to get into some other viral moments that Huda Beauty is having. So I picked up the Easy Blur Primer. I picked up the base brush in the mini size. And I also picked up the Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. And I got this in the color Mocha. Now, first of all, I didn't even know what my color was because this is my first time buying makeup from Huda Beauty, I believe. Um, at least definitely foundation. So, guys, I did try it out. I don't know if I'm going to insert a video clip or just refer you guys over to my YouTube shorts. But I actually did try all three of these products today. And it's on me. <laughs> And let me take them out the package so you guys can see. Look, when they said mini, I... <laughs> child, okay. <Ooh. laughs> I, bar I barely could find them. I'm like, oh my God. But this is this is good enough to kind of try. But I think this was um $15, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was, this was $15. Oh my God. 
All right, Huda Beauty, y'all getting real cute since y'all then restock with Silk Santal. I'm just saying, fifteen dollars. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so here is what all three of the products look like. I was mainly excited about uh, the blurring primer. I've been hearing good things. I'm not a huge makeup girly, but I am noticing as I am creeping up on a certain age that the girl needs a little bit more coverage, a little bit more whatever, okay? So I'm really just getting into primers and foundations. So this was definitely one that I wanted to try. I was really hoping that it would like smooth and blur this area. I don't know what it is around this part of my face where the texture is not smooth. So I know this is more for pores, but I was hoping I can get like some texture, um, some smoothing of texture. And everything that you see going on is a part of my look. And I think it's it pretty good, guys. I feel like, let me zoom in a little bit. I feel like, guys, it did do a little bit of blurring, just kind of like smoothing things out. It's more like skin. It's it's lightweight. And that's what I really, really like about it is that it's not heavy. It wasn't sticky. Like I know some other primers that kind of like sticky and tacky so that your foundation can kind of like stick onto that. But this one wasn't really sticky or tacky. It was just kind of more like smooth and kind of trying to blur things out. So I felt like it did an okay job at that. And I've seen some people that got some amazing results and some people that just got okay results. Like it was, you know, just another layer of like smooth skin. And that's kind of how I would explain it too. As far as the Easy Blur Foundation, this is extremely lightweight. This is, you know, yeah, it says natural airbrush and... Yeah, I think it's given that. I did find this to be buildable. Um, so that's good. But I think it still is just a light kind of coverage. So if you're looking for like deep coverage, something, you know, just a little step up, then your skin or better, this probably won't, you know. But if you're looking for like a natural kind of, mm, I ain't gonna say glowy, but like just a natural smooth look, then these will definitely do the job. And I did use um, the base brush and I think people was using it like this. Like they wasn't steepling it in, they were using it like this. So I tried to do the same thing too. So you guys let me know. Y'all let me know how I look. Is we looking, is we looking blurred? Is we looking like a filter? Is the filter on? Do I have... Is it on or is it off? Is it on or is it off? Okay, look. But I think it looks good though. I think it looks good. So overall, I am pleased with those products. I'm going to definitely keep playing around and kind of seeing, you know, what's tea with them. But if you guys have a recommendation for things that even out skin tone, definitely drop down in the comments and let me know. So the next couple of things that I want to show you guys and share with you guys as a part of this haul, I did pick up two other fragrances in the travel size. And this is from the Oudgasm collection. Already have Rose Oud in my collection in a full size bottle. I love that fragrance so, so much. And I've been hearing people talk about the vanilla oud. And I was like, okay, let me get my hands on it while I'm while I'm spinning, while I'm purchasing. Let me go ahead and get my hands on it. So I just picked up two more. So I got the vanilla oud and I also got the uh cafe oud. Now, guys, I don't <sighs> I don't know if this got praline in it. I don't know if you guys can see. But it came kind of like syrupy <laughs> around the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm thinking it's from this praline, okay? Because praline is like syrup. It's like honey syrup. So we're going to start with the vanilla oud. So this has vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oak moss, and oud. <sighs> Guys, uh, I wanted to love this one so bad, but... 
I don't think this is for me. I love saffron. I love oud. And I love vanilla, so I'm not really sure why this one is not working for me. I think the saffron and the white musk is making it a little bit more of a spicy, mature vanilla than I would have hoped. Um, so yeah, I don't think that white musk and the saffron needed to be in the same formulation. So I probably will have to give this away. I'm going to keep it for a little while and just play with it just to make sure that I don't like it. But mm, I could pass on this one. The next one we're going to talk about is Cafe Oud. The notes for Cafe Oud is cappuccino, geranium, rose damas damascena, white musk, vanilla, and then oud. Now, this one I like. I don't know if it's because it has the rose note because I'm a rose girl. I am a rose girl. This one, I like. I, I, I don't love it, but I do like it. I can definitely see this working well for winter time, okay? This is going to be a good one to throw on during the winter. And I could probably mix this with the rose and oud. That rose and oud, guys, I kind of want to just gatekeep that because that one is better than all these fragrances that I just pulled out. It's better than all of them, okay? That is a stunner, okay? At least I got a whole bunch of, like, samples. I got Deja Vu. I got White Flower Deja Vu. I got Vanilla Royale. And I got Utopia. Out of those three, I think I like Vanilla Royale. I love patchouli, so, and vanilla. So that's gonna be up my vibe. That vanilla is also a bit more mature because of like the spicy woody notes, but I can tolerate that one a little bit more because it's sugared vanilla. So it has just a little bit more sweet involved with it. Last but not least, I did pick up the Vacate in a Bottle Discovery set. I only sprayed one of them. I sprayed uh, Maui in a bottle, which is the sweet banana one. I like this one, but as it dries down, it kind of gets like mushy banana kind of vibe. But it is good though. I don't know. Let me spray another one here on camera for the first time. We're going to try Capri in a bottle. And this is the lemon sugar. Ciao. I don't even know why I sprayed that. Okay. Yes, I like that. Lemon sugar and freesia, raspberry, vanilla, musk. Oh, yeah. I like Capri in a bottle. It smells really similar to Hard to Get by Jackie Anna. I think it's Forever Mood. It smells similar to that, to that one, but this one is not as sharp or citrusy. I think because it has like the raspberry, it's kind of keeping it a little bit more on the juicier side. Now, let me see what Marrakesh in a bottle is tasting like. Um, not tasting like. It has orange blossom, bergamot, pink pepper, Turkish rose, neroli, cedarwood. That's okay. That's unique. That's unique. That's unique. Okay, I can see that. I can see that for brunch. And lastly, we have Maldives in a bottle. This is rosemary, wild lemon, star fruit, banana blossom, ylang ylang, and coconut milk. Wow, got a lot going on. Let me see. I like all of them. I like all of them, guys. Yeah, that's cute too. That's cute. That's definitely coconut forward. I really can't smell all the other notes. Banana blossom. Yeah, I do smell the banana blossom, as a matter of fact. Okay. I'm really liking all of those, but they don't come in a 50 ml bottle. So, automatically cancel me out. But if I had to pick out of these four, ooh, which one is the most unique is the Marrakesh in the bottle. Now, which one is probably the more crowd-pleasing? It would be Capri in a bottle. What is more like Guarmandi, sweet banana, and lastly, kind of like in the middle of all of that, would be Maldives in a bottle.
So thank you loves so much for watching. I hope you guys come back, subscribe to me, leave me some comments so we can chat. Let me know what you guys think of my makeup, what you think about um, the wedding six and tall 36. If you guys have it, if you've been loving it, if you think it's worth the hype or not, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah.